Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and I'm back in my regular office. I got my digs back and it's time for another haul. Okay, so you know I'm going to kind of keep it to just the bond items or bond themed type items that, um, that I found them during my latest, uh, thrifting. Um, I've shown you videos before of building on my, um, choose your own adventure books. I found more and actually found uh, quite a few more. So that, that collection is getting up there. Um, but, uh, speaking of books, I found I had like some really good James Bond book finds while I was out thrifting this last time. So I found my last Ian Fleming book I've been looking for. Finally, I had already read it, but I didn't have my own copy um, that I that I had liked. So finally got it. Live and let die. Yeah, I know. A little damaged, but it's the it's the older copy that I like. So I like I like these older copies. Got the yellowed pages. I don't mind that. I, I'm, I find it endearing. Okay, so um, got my live and let die. I got an interesting story about this because I found a newer copy of it. But I, like I said, I like my older copies better. I found them the same day. Can you believe it? The exact same day I found an old copy. But at first I had found a newer copy. And so what I did was I kept the old copy. I still got the newer copy and I went to a used bookstore and I was turning in a couple of books. I had, I had a couple of repeats. I had one of the Dune books. I had a second copy of, I wanted to turn that in. They were going to give me a dollar trade in for it. And they pushed back everything else that I had, including my newer copy of live and let die. And I said, I said, Hey, what, what was wrong? I don't, I, uh, I don't have it right now, but I said, well, what was wrong with the, uh, this, this live and let die book that I gave you? Why are you sending it back to me? Cause, um, you're, you're buying the Dune book, but you've literally got hundreds of them over there. So I didn't think you, you may not even want another one. I was like, but, and I'm, I wasn't lying. They had no Ian Fleming books at all. Zero. And so I said, you don't have any Ian Fleming books at all. So I'm kind of curious why you're turning this one away. But take, And um, they were really busy. So the girl, she looks on the computer, types in, and she goes, oh, well, you know what? Instead of a dollar for the one, how about four for the both for store credit? I was like, okay, great. So I felt good. Got a little bit of more extra store credit. And... I got a copy of an Ian Fleming book into their hands for, for the next person to come along and enjoy. Okay, so got my Live and Let Die book. Now, this one, I was waiting for this to go on sale. It was it was a little pricey, and I kind of had an older version already. So here's my older version. Oh, it's a big book. The James Bond Encyclopedia, movie encyclopedia. Now, this one, I think it, went up to um what did it include i think it went up to license to kill i'm pretty sure it went up to license to kill is how far up this movie encyclopedia went good sounds i like the i like the sounds a lot of pages to this book and in case you're wondering i've been using these encyclopedia this encyclopedia making a lot of my shorts finding a lot of the facts about the james bond movies that's where my material has been coming from well the other day so here's here's the old version i found a newer version and uh, and i kind of laughed i laughed when i found it because i'm like no way i found a newer version 
newly revised includes GoldenEye. So I, I was kind of laughing at myself because I'm just like, oh my goodness, it it's one movie further, but it includes GoldenEye. And uh, still... All right, same great sounds to this book. Um, okay, here's the uh, Stephen J. Rubin. Stephen J. Rubin. So thank you, Stephen J. Rubin, for, for these encyclopedias. Um, I mean, let me see if I can find some pages here. Let's look. Uh, it's not just facts and figures, but there's there's pictures in there that go along with some of the information. So it's it's a fun book. I mean, it really is. These there's there are a lot of pages of just facts and uh, information. Who was who? Um, the name, the places the things, the gadgets, you name it. I mean, it's it pretty much is, literally is an encyclopedia of the Bond films. All right, so I got my newer version of that. This was one of the other ones they pushed back at me when I when I went to the bookstore, used bookstore. They, they weren't going to take this one. Maybe it's too old, but I was like, you know what? I'll just keep it. I'll have two. My next item. That I, found. I just found this the other day, and I was like, this is going to be part of a role play. I'm going to have to use this as a role play because what does Bond do in a lot of movies? He plays back rack um, or poker of some sort. And, that, and look what I found. It's a card shoe. So professional, deluxe, card shoe. And um, so they use, they use these in, in Bond movies all the time. So... I'm going to be doing um, a little role play using this card shoe. Ooh, how about the sounds on this? Oh my goodness, I keep hitting the microphone. That's what happens when I'm, when I have it hung up so high here. All right, so, and so what was this? It says three forty nine, and I got it on half off, yellow. So I got it for like a dollar or something. That was pretty cool. Little assembly required, so I got to put that together. I got to get some. Now I got to find some good bond cards, like some Casino Royale cards or something to to put in there. I should have had those anyway. Okay, so now the. The biggest find for me was this. This is the newest version of any of these books I have ever found thrifting. James Bond, The Secret World of 007. How much did I pay for this? $329. $329. I didn't take the sticker off yet. I didn't, I didn't realize that. So Secret World of 007. And look at that. I mean... New edition includes Quantum of Sol Solace. This is all the way up to Quantum of Solace. I've n none of my Bond books are this current. I've never seen anybody turn one turn one in this current off off their own shelf. So now I have it. So thank you to whoever turned this into Goodwill. I truly appreciated it. Uh, is it the same picture? Yeah, it's the same picture inside the jacket all right so let's let's take a look at some of these all right let's let's see here so some of this will seem very familiar you got the old movies in there. It's man with the golden gun okay i remember this diagram i because i have an older version of the secret world of 007 book i remembered this diagram man with the golden gun i think if we go to moonraker See, here's the spy who loved me. So, a lot of pictures in there now. Let's see. What is this? 
was a couple pages dedicated to Spy Who Loved Me. All right, there we go. Oh, okay, yeah, I remember Atlantis. I remember this. This is in the other book, the large diagram of Atlantis. So what, where all the different labs were, things like that. So that was cool. I think I think they do this skydive. This is from Moonraker. There's Jaws. Gonna fall right into the tent of the circus. All right, uh, let's go. I'm trying to just go one page here, because I thought there was actually like a thought there was a yeah a big diagram of the shuttle. Was there? Oh, it wasn't the shuttle. Okay, yeah. So it was the. That's no moon. That's a space station. So there's the space station. I think the other one I have goes up to Golden Eye at least. I think it goes up to Golden Eye. Let's see, because um, they had like the uh, the big the in the beginning of Golden Eye, they had like the di the whole diagram of the uh, that station that he blows up at the beginning. There it is. There it is. So this was in the other book too kind of the exact same picture there but I'm I think I'm noticing some differences in some of these pictures uh, let's see let's see what else do we have here all right let me I'm trying to get around the microphone here so come a little closer maybe I could push that back as I come a little closer with the book there we go all right let's uh, what do we have here world is not enough okay I don't think I had that in the other one. So, I mean, this is literally so much more current than the other one I have. I mean, I will keep them both because I think there's additional pictures to this one. And there's something to be said for the, some of the old the old books too because sometimes they change the information or they're like, oh, that's maybe that's outdated. Let's put throw some other information in instead. So I like having all of it. Casino Royale, my favorite Bond movie. There it is. Look at that car. If you didn't get a chance, check out my video where I actually get to sit in an Aston Martin. That was pretty cool. Uh, let's, let's just jump ahead. Oh, now we get into the back of the credits and the movies. Oh, Bond and Money Penny. All right. Quantum of Solace. So this is only missing a couple of movies. A few movies. What, what would be the next ones? It would have been uh, Skyfall, Spectre, and then No Time to Die. So this is only missing three movies out of it. So, wow, what an exciting find. I was so excited to find this. I couldn't believe it when I saw it there. And um, and then, of course, I was just like, I was like what? Three bucks. You got to be kidding me. And again, the most current. Yeah, one of the most current types of one of the of this, this type of bond book that I have. I have a little bit of a wish list. I could tell you what, um, there's one item on a wish list that I have that I hope that I will find uh, thrifting at some point. And that's going to be, there is a book. It's probably about this thick. I mean, it's, it's thick. And it's a book of all the artwork and the Bond posters from like around the world. And it's a pretty thick book. And it's, but yeah, it's got all these big, huge pictures of all the posters um i've seen it a couple times and i kind of kicking myself for not getting it when i saw it i didn't see it at goodwills i saw it at some other kind of bookstores um but uh i don't know i've been i've been doing pretty good with what i got anyway that's my haul for this time uh, my bond items and um so i appreciate the support thanks for checking out my channel um and yes i am glad to finally be back in my office um, get my bond poster my movie posters poster or actually my puzzle 
And if you haven't seen that video where I get this puzzle put together. Um, so yeah, glad to be back where um, I'll be able to get some filming done, be able to start uh, getting some of those role plays going as well. Um, hopefully soon. And um, I've been having a lot of fun with my shorts. So, and, and a lot of people have been checking them out. I had one hit 10 K views and it's still going. So uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that kind of support that I've gotten on that. Um, I like making those. They're, they're actually really fun little bits of information. I got a new one coming out um, soon um, as well. So thanks again. And um, I really do appreciate all the support I've gotten and, um, and we'll uh, we'll see you in the next video. Okay, thanks bye.